In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review of graphing linear equations. So let's say we have the equation 2x minus 3y minus 12 equals 0. Well, the first method I'm going to use is the intercept method. In other words, we want to find the intercepts. Well, remember the intercepts, the x and the y intercepts, are where the graph, the linear equation, crosses the x and the y axes. So here's my line. Here is the y axis and the x axis. And the x intercept is right here where the linear equation crosses the x axis. Now, the y value here is always equal to zero. The y-intercept is where the linear equation crosses the y-axis, and the x-value here is always equal to zero. So here we're going to have an ordered pair that has some x-value, comma, a y-value of zero. And here we're going to have a, an x-value of zero and some y-value. So to find the intercepts, let's start by finding the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we let y be equal to 0. So we would have 2x minus 3 times 0 minus 12 equals 0, or 2x minus 12 equals 0, 2x equals 12, or x equals 6. So that means that when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 6. And we write that together as an ordered pair 6, 0. And that's basically what we have here. The x value, 6, and 0. Except this is uh, obviously not this particular uh, line. Then to find the y-intercept, um, we let x be equal to 0. So let's do that. To find the y-intercept, we let x be equal to 0. So we have 2 times 0 minus 3y minus 12 equals 0, or minus 3y equals 12, or y equals negative 4. And that gives us the ordered pair, x is 0 and y is negative 4. Well, now that we have these two points, these intercepts, we can plot them. So 0, negative 4. Let's make a small graph here. 0, negative 4 is going to be um, down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, 0 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there, and right there. And all we have to do to graph it is just draw a line between these two, and that would be our linear equation. And extend that down there a little bit more. So that is the first way to graph a linear equation. The second way would be to take 2x minus 3y minus 12. And write it in slope intercept form. And you may want to go back and review the uh, quick math video on linear equations. But the um, slope intercept form is the form y equals mx plus b. And so all we need to do is solve this for y. So minus 3y is going to be equal to negative 2x plus 12. And then dividing by negative 3, we're going to have y is equal to uh, 2 thirds x minus 4. Now, from the previous video, we know that the slope is 2 thirds 
and the y-intercept is negative 4, or in other words, the point 0, negative 4. Well, we already know that from this graph right here, 0, negative 4. So what we want to do to graph it using this particular method is start at the y-intercept. So again, draw our axes. And my y-intercept is 0, negative 4. And then use the slope to find another point. The slope was 2 thirds. So remember what the slope is. The slope is the change in y divided by the change in x, which is 2 thirds. That means y changes 2 units when x changes 3 units. So I am going to go up 2 units on the y-axis. The change in y is a positive 2. So go up from, from my y-intercept, go up one, two units. And then on the x-axis, my change is three units, positive, so it would be to the right. So I'm going up one, two, and then over one, two, and three, and put a point there. Now that we have two points, we can draw a line through them, and we have our line. And I did not figure out what the x-intercept is, but you can see that these two lines look similar. So that's two different methods, finding the intercepts or putting it in slope-intercept form, starting with the y-intercept and then finding the slope. The last way that I'm going to show you how to do this would be to use Desmos. So if we just type this equation into Desmos, 2x minus 3y minus 12 equals 0, we have the line. Well, there's really not much to do, but what we can do is we can confirm what we've already done algebraically. We can see that the y-intercept was 0, negative 4, and that the x-intercept is 6, 0. And if we go from the y-intercept to the x-intercept, notice that from this point, we have to go up 1, 2, and then go over 1, 2, 3. Actually, we're going up 4 and over to the right 6. And so the change in uh, y divided by the change in x uh, does reduce to 3 over 2, which, or 2 over 3, which was the slope. All right, so this is using Desmos to graph, but you should also have a good idea of how to graph um, algebraically by finding the intercepts or using the slope and the y-intercept.